Hi guys, this is Angel from PRDB Entertainment. Welcome to another tutorial of the Unreal Engine 4. Now, this is another tutorial about projectiles, but like in the previous video, that I showed you how to add it and shoot it from your headset. In this one, I'm gonna show you how to add it and shoot it from your motion controller. Now, first of all, let's create a new projectile. There's gonna be a blueprint, uh, blueprint class, an actor, and we're gonna put here controller projectile let's open this blueprint and let's add some components the same collision it's going to be a sphere controller collision let's add a static mesh and last component projectile movement important now compile so we can get the properties, get into the properties of your projectile movement. Initial speed is going to be a thousand, also for the max, and also for the X on the velocity. Now let's choose a mesh. It's going to be a cube. I'm not going to be using the sphere. Now I'm going to scale this because it's big. I'm going to scale it down. I'm going to use some material. It's going to be chrome. There we go. So let's compile. Let's go to the event graph so we can start adding setups here. Delete all these events so we don't need them. Right click and search for event hit. Now we need to add the impulse at location for our collision, our controller collision. Add impulse at location controller collision. It could also be the mesh, but for the collision it's better. Okay, so we need to get our actor location, which is this blueprint, the controller projectile, actor location. And we also need to get the velocity that we inserted that was a thousand. Well, we're just gonna get it from the properties. So velocity goes to impulse and the actor location goes to location. Compile, save. Right here, we don't need nothing else to do with this projectile, the, con the controller projectile. Now we need to go to our VR player character. And I'm not going to add nothing on the event graph, so let's create a function. It's going to be shoot with motion uh, controller. Controller. And we need to spawn our actor. Spawn actor from class, which is our controller projectile. Okay. Now we need to add a make transform. I'll put it right here. We need to get the location and the rotation of our controller so we need to add our right controller get we're going to get the rotation from the world world rotation from the motion controller and same from here we're going to get our location for the motion controller Okay, so we're going to add, let me see, we can put it right here. From this, we are okay. From this, it's supposed to work right now. So we just need to add the function over here on the trigger of the motion. So let's compile, save, and let's play it. Okay, so as you can see, it is coming out from the hand of the motion controller everything that I shoot okay so now it's coming right from the middle of the motion controller I want to you know I want to spawn it like a little bit to the front uh, a little fur further so we need to break this link here and also this one and we're going to create a variable that's going to be a vector because from here we will say how much 
how far it's going to be from the motion controller when it spawns. Okay, compile. Let's put on projectile. Let's put here 10, 10 only. Compile. We're gonna get it over here. We're going to get the rotate vector. We're going to get the rotate vector plus we also need to get a vector we need to we need a pin vector plus vector so we can add the world uh, location of the motion controller so this one goes here this one goes here this one goes here and the rotation goes here on the rotate vector and this one goes on the location and the rotation also goes to here so basically what we're saying here is that it will get the rotation and the location completely the complete rotation of the motion controller and exactly where it is and it will let know how far it will spawn from the motion controller and it gets all the values between x y and z and it put it right here on the make transform and then it spawns the actor which is our controller projectile now let's see how far it spawns from the hand there's a controller you can see it uh... oh it's glitching okay so it's a little it's like right in front of the controller it shouldn't like right in front of it let me see yeah like from the fingers okay so if we put probably like 20 instead of 10 to our variable here our projectile offset let's put 25 just so you can see what exactly it does let's put it here and here we go again with the glitch there we go see as you can see now it's coming out from the fingers so if you keep putting more and more and more of value it will it will spawn further in the front and more and more and more you can add collisions physics to it and stuff like that so it can bounce shoot uh, destroy stuff every time it hits I don't know whatever you're making on your project uh, this is Angel from PRDB Entertainment guys like always gladly to help you guys here um, I'm gonna create another I think one or two more tutorials about using projectiles but the other ones are going to be different so stay tuned for those ones too and also for the video that I'm uh, I'm working on right now for how to move the body of your character from forward backward left or right every time that you move your headset on the same location from left to right or back and forward all right uh, so probably in, in the future when I this is important because I'm going to teach you guys how we're going to add how we're going to import a character that we can see our body inside the game and that when you go to the left if you really move on 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 real life if you move to your left the character will also move to the left so you don't see this type of glitches in the game like uh, the head stretching or the hand stretching or when somebody uh, just crouches that the character just stretches down the entire body and looks like really weird like a freaking glitch well it's to evade those type of you know problems uh nothing i think this is all for tonight this is Andrew from prd entertainment if you haven't subscribed don't forget to subscribe and if you have any questions just write on on the uh, comment box and i will gladly write you back and answer your questions and like always guys like always design create and always make it look good bye